Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Mohammad Lutful Kader, Research Assistant ICDJRB. As you can see, the title of my abstract is Temporal Dynamics in the Prevalence Inequalities and Determinants of Unintended Pregnancy in Bangladesh, 1994 to 2018, a population-based study. First, we need to know what unintended pregnancy is. According to CDC, unintended pregnancies are pregnancies that are mistimed, unplanned, or unwanted at the time of conception. Moving on to the next slide, we will know uh, about this phenomena worldwide. We can see that 48% of total world pregnancy uh, is unintended, and 92% uh, of unintended pregnancy of world happen in LMICs. This figure stands around 5% in Asia and uh, around 19% in South Asia, whereas it stands around 28% in Bangladesh. Unintended pregnancies has many consequences, including unsafe abortion. We can see that over 60% of unintended pregnancies end in abortion. And it also has consequences like neonatal mortality and miscarriage, etc. So this leads to our objectives that uh, to examine the prevalence, inequalities and determinants of unintended pregnancy over time in Bangladesh. This is our methodology section. We have used the Bangladesh demographic and health survey data. Uh, this is a cross-sectional data and we have used eight rounds of BDHS data. Our study participants were 36,937 ever married women of reproductive age we have used descriptive analysis to examine the prevalence, uh, absolute measure of inequality, relative measure of inequality, and multivariable binary logistic regression to identify the determinants. Uh, this is the trend of unintended pregnancy. Uh, we can see this is a downward trend uh, as we expected. Uh, we can see that the trend uh, starts at 32.5% and um, it goes down to 21.1% with an average annual rate of reduction of 1.7%. In 2018, we find that 25.9% uh, unintended pregnancy reported in Khulna division, which was highest. Uh, this is uh, another key findings uh, where we uh, saw the unintended pregnancy in different subpopulations. We see that annual average rate of reduction were, uh, was 3% among richest, whereas it was 0.4% uh, among poorest. We see a uh, vast gap here. The same goes for the secondary or more educated people versus uh, primary or less educated women. In this section, we have discussed about the inequalities. Uh, we have uh, seen that the gaps in unintended pregnancy have widened between the poorest and the richest. Same goes for the less than or uh, equal to primary educated p uh, women versus the secondary plus educated women. Here we have discussed about the wealth-based inequalities uh, through concentration index. Uh, we have seen that unintended pregnancy was disproportionately distributed among pro-poor and it depends over, over time. This is our, one of our key findings uh, where we uh, determine the uh, determ uh, determinants of unintended pregnancy. And the colored uh, cells uh, defines the statistical level of significance. We have, for the, from the pool analysis, pooled analysis, we have found seven factors. They are women with higher parity, Muslim, women with Muslim religion, poorest wealth status, urban residency, spousal discordance on fertility preference, uh, women who are primary educated and women involved in income earning activities were the um, risk factors for unintended pregnancy. Why this study is novel? This study is one of its uh, first kind to that examine the prevalence and inequalities in unintended pregnancy over time. It examined the transition of determinants over time. In, it identified some high risk populations and areas uh, which is needed to um, tailor some need-based inter intervention that can be designed and delivered. Such as, we have found that parity is a significant factor in our uh, study. We also have found uh, spousal discordance is a significant factor. So we can recommend that uh, family planning programs should be tailored in such a way that where uh, husbands can be involved too. 
That leads to our conclusion where we concluded that unintended pregnancy is prevalent at our national and subnational level in Bangladesh. It is disproportionately distributed across populations with different socioeconomic and demographic identities. It is affected by transitional determinants. So, tailored intervention targeting the high risk population areas should reduce inequalities. Thank you all for your cooperation.